Chicken and bell peppers is a dish that my dad taught me when I was living in Italy with him. And then when I came to America, actually my mom improved upon a dish that my dad taught me. So I guess you could say that both my parents taught me how to make this dish. And it's not just chicken and bell peppers, so there's a little bit more to it. Personally, I like to use a savory part, the savory part of the chicken, such as leg and thighs. But the only package I could find was uh, uh, thighs at Tarato store. I got the one with the skin on it because they're a little bit cheaper. So then you just remove the skin from the chicken and it does leave a little bit of grease on it. And it gives it a little bit more flavors. Um, I've always been of the opinion the eyes got to eat too. So usually when I do this dish, I use one bell pepper of every color, yellow, orange, red, and green. We use one Roma tomato. Uh, two, three cloves of garlic, salt, a little bit of red wine, and uh, extra virgin olive oil. And that is it. So let's get started. Okay, put about this much olive oil or extra virgin olive oil. We throw the chicken in. the chicken in, put a little bit of wine, about this much, obviously the better the quality of ingredients you use, the better, and throw the tomatoes in, or actually the tomato, we're only going to use one, a little bit of salt, For now, so while that's sauteing and oil, salt, garlic, which is added by now. Now you don't want to add the, the garlic in the beginning with the oil because you don't want the garlic to burn. You want it to cook. We then clean out the core of the bell pepper. At the same time, while we're cutting this, we're stirring chicken and the tomatoes. Okay, we start throwing the bell peppers in. A little bit of seeds make it inside, it's quite all right. Hey folks, now all it has to do is uh, cook. How long is it going to take? The appearance of the dish will tell me when it's ready and you'll see it in due time. Put the lid back on and it'll uh, just do its thing. So you're wondering uh, how long does it take for this dish to cook? 
when it starts to look like this when it starts to look like this then you know the dish is finished now we're going to remove the lid for a little while just to reduce the sauce and folks this is done this is it this is what the chicken and bell peppers looks like like i said i use i like to use leg and thighs because it, it's darker meat a little more savory than breast but you can use whatever chicken you want in here we try with different meats it's totally up to you anyway guys this is it Enjoy, buon appetito, and we'll see you next time. Take care.